Hello there. Hi. Oh, we have a guest. We have a guest. <laughs> we do that sometimes. Do. It's Erica. Hello. Hello. We put in cheers and applause. <laughs> <laughs> So Erica is uh, working with, well, can we say we are working with? We are contributors for. for yeah, we're writers. We're writers yeah. for Couch Soup, which is yes. very great. You should subscribe. Do we have to say <laughs> something like yes, that? Yes, please. <laughs> is, is it a subscription service? I thought it was just a. Uh, there can be. So you yeah. there's like, you can be a member uh, where you like, get access to like different tiers and different stuff. Um, and then you get access to like the community chats and stuff. Yeah. Which is fun. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we have a lot of fun. You can read our articles. <gasps> yeah. I have a women in gaming series. My next one is coming up in July. Oh, fun. I'm very excited. Sometimes. And we, Erica is here because we're going to write an article about what we're going to talk about now. <laughs> <laughs> so this is just like prep work for you guys. It is. It really <laughs> is. <laughs> Good. Yeah. yeah, why not? Uh, but uh, before we go any further... Should I actually introduce the podcast? Yes, that's, that was my next slide. Okay. Hi, everyone. Welcome to all the films to be judged before. My name is Katie. Hello there is Lily Kay. And underneath me here is Erica, who is joining us today, Hi. who we've just introduced. So this feels a little bit redundant, but there you go. <laughs> going to do it again. Second it's introduction. <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> Welcome to the show. Um, first question, very important question before we yes. get any further. What did you guys watch last week? I think. We oh boy, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think I watched it. No, I'm just kidding. Well, I saw Doctor Strange like on Thursday at like 3 p.m. So I got a really early showing. That's good. So that That's... was really nice to avoid all the online spoilers. I managed I... to avoid all the spoilers. I did. Oh my gosh, I'm so impressed. I think okay. I, I think maybe I got something suggested to me, but I, I it was like ah. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't, which was fun. So I was like, hmm, so cool. I so wish nice. I would have seen that in in the theater, <laughs> you know. I... But oh, whatever. Uh, Katie, did you watch anything other than? Um, I've I was catching up on Talk to Who actually, because <laughs> I realized I hadn't. Because obviously, um, as of this recording. The fourteenth Doctor just got announced. Oh my gosh! Shooty, I'm so excited, genuinely thrilled. I literally like the, the somebody posted it in link in another like Discord set around mm. him, and I, and I was like, all right, this should be interesting. Who is it? And it, like his face popped up, and I went, oh! <laughs> so yeah. delighted, gasp. I'm so happy. But it, I maybe realized that I hadn't, I like hadn't seen all of like half of Flux. So I was like, I have to go catch up on that. And then I, I hadn't either. Uh, I, I watched the first yeah. three episodes as they were coming out, and then I just didn't watch the last three. And then obviously, then the then the New Year's special came out, and then the Easter special came out, and I'm like, I actually I have to catch up on that. So I've been doing that. I've got one episode left to catch up on, but it's all right. <laughs> I heard the writing isn't that great, it's bit, and it's uh, really sad to do because it's doing it's, her a disservice. Yeah, it's like it's doing. I feel like it's 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 not bad in the same way it was bad when it was under Moffat. In that Moffat was just like throwing things at the wall and being like, "Look how amazing I am." This it's just feels true. like they're not quite like it feels like that they're, they're, they're underselling the stuff that they're trying to do. Mm -hmm. Like they're not kind of going for it enough, but at the same time, there's all this stuff um, in the plot now to do with Jodie's Doctor in like her origins, and I realized that. I just don't care about the Doctor's origins at all. It's like the least interesting part yeah. of the show. We've gone this far without don't it. Giving it we lore. don't need it. I don't want it. I want to know when Yaz and Thirteen are going to kiss. Yeah. <laughs> like we're getting so close. But I will say the introduction to of Dan, played by John Bishop, is like just you know. John Bishop, essentially ex extremely scouse man who doesn't really have any kind of clue what's going on. Perfect, I love him. <laughs> would be me he and me. And like, oh yeah. shit, I guess there's <laughs> aliens now. <laughs> and I'm like, I love him. <laughs> <He's perfect>. <laughs> Fine. Fine. <laughs> Anything like, else you want? Something watch? mildly inconveniences him. He's like, hey. <laughs> Even if it's just like a random like alien who's just kind of being like, I'm gonna kill you. He's like, job. 
<laughs> that's <laughs> rude. That's the vibe. <laughs> um, I don't think I was watching anything else though, because I mean, I've caught, I've caught up on Critical Role in an amazing turn of events. Oh man, I'm still like mid, like season two. I mean, I, yeah. I'm technically it is thinking, hard. I've been watching since the beginning. But yeah. I will go through many like periods of like where I'll, I'll miss a couple of weeks and then I have to catch up on those weeks. You have to catch up on like sixteen hours. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's not when I, I was. I, I've, I've said this before, but like nearing the end of um, uh, campaign two, like around a hundred and th- episode one hundred and three or something like that, I just proceeded to stop watching for a solid two months because I was like, no, nope. no, <laughs> <laughs> I can't do this. <laughs> you done? This is too emotional. <laughs> I'm not uh, doing it. And then eventually after it. the last episode came out, I was like, okay, I'm going to catch up now. Yeah. And then I cried a bunch. They're so good at that and I hate it. Specifically. <laughs> I felt really good though when I made my players cry. So I get why Matt Mercer does it. Yeah. I mean, it's the, it's, that's the, that's the ideal. And it's like, like in any kind of storytelling yeah. media, it was like, ha, I made it's crazy. cry. <laughs> They Success. killed their favorite NPC oh like God. out of nowhere, <laughs> and it's like the most like like players or not like the players but, like listeners and messenger like how dare you kill so and so, and I'm like it was just a last minute choice, and then everyone cried, and then I was happy. <laughs> success! I made my players feel things. <laughs> I'm a success. I torturing people. It's not fun. <laughs> I, I cry on everything, so you know, it's, I can speak really hard. I'm like, it's great. So what? No, <laughs> I like it. <laughs> um, what have you good. been doing, really? Uh, nothing. <laughs> Sweet. Nothing. Like, no, like, I I didn't have time. I, I had to finish the last drawing that, that is coming with me to MCM Comic Con. See you there Ooh. at the end of May. Very good. Oh, thank you. Um, and then uh, I had three days, like basically the entire weekend where I had to be on rehearsals. So Oof, these are the same person. <laughs> She's doing two plays. Two Not plays. one. That's two. intense, man. <laughs> yeah. It so might be a plays. bit much. <laughs> and then she keeps giving herself more drawings to do. And then she's also got a full-time job. I just... Yeah. The Moon Knight drawing I saw this morning and I was like, I love it. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> so good. I'm a blush. I can't. Mm-hmm. I can't I get that, take like, on my wall. And if you're yeah. at MCM Comic Con at the end of May, you can buy that for yourself. It's true. Along with so many other prints. Advertisement. <laughs> <laughs> But it's true. Uh, I will make sure to get you, Alarika. No, no worries, no worries. Um, so yeah, I didn't. I I literally. I only watched Doctor Strange, which we're going to talk about so <laughs> today. I so I saw this last night, so it's very fresh for me. Oh wow! There you go. There you go. Uh, so I think uh, we should get into it. Doctor Strange. It's once again spoiler warning. Spoilers. We're we're going in deep, right? Oh, that are going to be spoilers so yeah just be prepared guys if you haven't watched Doctor Strange go and watch it and then come back and watch this or listen to it whichever uh, works for you there is your preferred medium <laughs> whatever it is um, so first round of question is just in general <clears throat> what did you think Erica hmm. hmm. I overall <laughs> enjoyed it I hmm. did so I this is like what I'm saying is so unusual for me as a person because I'm a massive Marvel fan, massive. And like, I, I even defend, uh, like Thor, the dark world. Like I'm that kind of Marvel fan. I liked (laughs) Thor, the dark world when I I saw it. I don't know where all the, it was one of those things. I don't either. I was like, I didn't realize people hated this movie so much. I didn't either. It's ridiculous. (laughs) I mean, I don't think it's like the best one at all or anything. No, it's, it's, it's fine. (laughs) It's fine. it's fine but yeah like i defended it to everybody and then i saw doctor strange and i really did like it but i had some weird issues with it with this um one the original that are mad- multiverse of madness mm-hmm. so i had to- my issues with it is how it's going to encompass marvel's this current phase as a whole we got 
nothing from Loki and Sylvie who originally broke the timelines mm-hmm. and the multiverse. We got no tie in to the original perpetrators of breaking everything. Mm. The, the, the writing got really cheesy at times and a little weird, like the whole cliche of, uh, America Chavez is like, I don't know how to control my powers. And then the end, he's like, yes, you do. And she's like, yeah, right. I do. <laughs> and I was like, that's it. I was so pissed off at that cliche. It was so stupid. And so I, I really, I did really love, like, I'm trying to just go broad before we go into more details, but I did really, really like the Illuminati and the horror aspect. Mm-hmm. I am not a horror person in like the slightest, but for some reason this, like, I was like, I want more of this. I want more of it. Mm-hmm. I, it felt in, in general, it felt like there was like 30 to 40 minutes that were cut out of the movie that should still yeah. be there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It felt you, you get thrown into it really fast yeah. and it doesn't stop. And that killed the pacing of the movie, like yeah. really bad. And I was just really thrown off. So I've been like really conflicted about Marvel as a whole, because I'm like, why is nothing tying into each other? Mm. Where's, where was vision? Why aren't we getting like, minor or even major callbacks just like in passing like Wong to Dr. Strange you know walking in the sanctum or something saying hey uh have we looked into you know that giant celestial that you know just popped out of the sky you know a couple of weeks ago like that feels like a major event that should be talked about at least in passing yeah like there's been no callbacks other than like a little bit of Spider-Man when she, mm-hmm. they were in the pizza shop yeah and so I was like why why is none of this feeling cohesive yeah and I've been really struggling with that. So those are my base thoughts. And JT? yes, I cried about it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I, I agree in a lot of ways. I liked it. I it very much like tickled me how much of like this is a Sam Raimi movie. That mm-hmm. is. Yes, because it like. I mean, even the Bruce Campbell's in it. Like, yeah, I was true. I was cheering on. <laughs> Bruce. Just Sam Raimi when he came in and went, I'm just gonna do this. It's like I'm, I'm gonna bring in my friend. Look, I did it again. Like, my best friend. All over this movie, it, it like, and I, I did very much enjoy that. It was nice to see like a proper, like visual style underneath the sort of Marvel, yeah, Americanism, mm. more um, yeah. realistic. The color grading was just so much better in this movie than it has oh my been gosh, in like so, so much many better. other ones. Yes. <laughs> Very it was true. Just nice to look at, but um, I do agree in um in that it was like it literally doesn't even give you a second to to bring kind of put no, it just kind of to connect the Wonder Vision, the end of Wonder Vision to this, yeah, because it feels like even it feels like there's a gap there, like a major sort of like because she goes from you know you see her with the the dark hole at the end yeah. of uh, Wonder Vision, but then now she's like fully lost it. Mm-hmm. And yeah, it was like I thought she kind of gotten herself together a little bit at the end of one <laughs> yeah it was almost like a disregard of character mm. because i think i think the movie would have worked out really well for her character if it didn't end the way it did with her dying there's no body oh, no. therefore it means no death <laughs> she's not dead <laughs> she's not dead and so i would have loved to have seen a little bit like maybe like the post credit scene or something where she was i guess redeeming herself if we want to call it that and i don't know it just felt like too abrupt of an ending for how big her character arc was yeah it was Mm. there was a lot of yeah i mean to be fair part of this um i like the pacing wasn't like so terrible for me i tend to get a bit um like i've had issues with my issues with the ends pretty much every season finale that i've seen of all of the shows because yeah. the last episode has just felt like super rushed, mm-hmm. or, like that they yeah. haven't like gone straight into like the meat of the conflict properly. They've just sort of yeah. glanced, glanced over it in order to get to sort of an end. But it really, I was sitting there like, how does this doesn't make sense with everything else that I know that's going on with the multiverse? Like nothing is actually yeah. connecting properly, and yeah. it's a bit like what happened here where is the there was a cohesiveness to like the beginning of all of the marvel stuff right yeah and now it kind of feels like there's about three different people doing their own th- like takes on the multiverse and none of them quite none line of them up work. with each other yeah 
but I really but, liked the film. I came out being like, yeah, yeah. it was great. <laughs> yeah. I want more Benedict Wong. Yes. Yes. I want always. more. I want so much more. And that led me to another thought I had was we got the end of Shang-Chi and there was that whole end credit scene where they're like, hey, Shang-Chi, come with us. Mm hmm. Where does that lead? Oh, We've yeah, gotten nothing, nothing about that really. since. We've gotten nothing. And I'm there's, like, there's a couple of, yeah, there's a, there's a fair few moments like that. Like, um, Mordo in this movie? I yeah. guess he hates him now? I think he, uh, he was the one who gave Doctor Strange the dark hold. Mm -hmm. I absolutely think he was. Yeah. I think for some reason he's just in every multiverse. I think he's just always jealous. Yeah, but like I had watched the first Doctor Strange just like the morning, like I hadn't seen it before. I watched it the morning, like oh, wow. in, in the like I woke up the morning. That's... I was like, I gotta watch this movie now, otherwise I'm not gonna do it. And then um, and then I watched this one in the evening. So going from yeah. that end credit scene to this, where he's like, oh yeah, Mordo hates my guts and wants me dead, and I was like, well, that's not that's not what he said at the end of that post credit scene in the first Doctor Strange. He said that's a that good he point. he was like he basically just went, I think there's too many sorcerers, and I'm like. Did that yeah. decide not to go anywhere? Then? <laughs> I think the only you're totally right though, because now that I'm thinking about it, he's really only said like, yeah, there's too many sorcerers, as well as like, um, oh, what was it that he said? Um, like he didn't like that he was messing with time. Yeah, mm -hmm. like, like the bill will come due or whatever. And yeah, I'm like, he, he basically it like, doesn't really feel like thing, hatred. And then he just sort of went, I'm out of, I'm done with this. It's not my thing anymore. Mm -hmm. by and then he walked off and, and and then suddenly in this one he's like oh yeah he hates my guts and i'm like does he <laughs> you're right though i didn't even think about that i don't know there's there's a couple of bits and pieces like that but i want to hear what lily thinks first i want to go rewatch doctor strange <laughs> <laughs> there you go <laughs> um i liked it a lot like uh you know it was very much sam Raimi movie mm. which i like uh and uh it, i i'm just gonna highlight the biggest thing about this that's Elizabeth Olsen. Like oh, she, what a queen. she she was the highlight of the whole thing. Like I oh, I'm not gonna lie, I love Benedict. I love Benedict. I think he's a great Doctor Strange, but I notice that I don't really care See, about that's Doctor my, Strange. Honestly, that's my other issue with this movie. Yeah. Because it has a really interesting theme of like trying to figure out what happiness means to you in like mm -hmm. a, in a world mm -hmm. you know that like there's a world where any like, there are worlds where anything could happen and all this sort of stuff and like letting yeah. go of, of things that can't be anymore and all that sort of mm -hmm. stuff mm -hmm. and then I was like this is a really great theme I don't give a shit enough about him to like really emotionally connect to this like emotional storyline yeah. that you're going yeah. through yeah. and it was such a shame because it was nice it, it was a shame yeah. I, I, I love the line where I uh, he says that uh, I love you in in every, every universe, universe. Uh, and it's yeah. like yes that's beautiful and i will cry they're I trying cried. to compete with the i love you 3000 line a tiny bit yeah exactly. a tiny bit the thing about that is that there's 10 years worth of like yeah <laughs> uh -huh. behind that but you know it's it so still true. works it still works let's be let's be fair it still works it but um nice. uh but yeah i i think it's it's very true many people said it on twitter and, and whatnot and i have to agree 100 percent that this is elizabeth's movie and uh yes. she's just fucking great in it like <sighs> you know <laughs> like i think this is like i love wonder vision it's it's easily still my top marvel tv show uh but here yeah, that, that's what I was waiting for. I mean, it's not nice that she's not killing everyone basically left well, and right. Like, that was <laughs> awesome. It's great, though. Like, it's like nobody needs to defend. She's fully the villain in this movie. Oh, she is. And she it's is. Great. <laughs> it is great. I, you know, I'm, I'm a bit of a. She's I, a I love that villain. She's a justified villain. She is. My heart was she is. for her from the moment she I, in. I was Oh, my God, yes. Oh. Uh, yeah. Immediately, like. Somebody give Wanda a proper hug. Yes. <laughs> For real. She needs a hug. She needs Bring a very White good Vision hug. in. Let him yeah, logically yeah, talk I mean, to her. Of like of many things. Where the fuck is Vision? Where the, Where the fuck is Vision? Is that's that's what we asked. <laughs> <laughs> when we told yeah. me there we go, like, where is, where is Vision? Where is he? Where, yeah. Well, it, my theory is that if White Vision would have showed up in this movie, then that would have been the end of, of Wanda's villain villain time, mm -hmm. basically. Uh, because, you know, Vision is the love of her life. Yep. So, 
I, I don't think we would have had this. I do think uh, I will get into Wanda's full villain thing uh, now that um, I do think that it's because of the Darkhold. Like, you know, especially at the end, it's it's very clear mm. that Wanda is still there and, and she's just, you know, she was just yeah. affected by this stupid book. We, it's, it latched on her, her yeah. pain and her emotions and just made it bigger. Yeah. yeah. Basically. It's like getting um, when you're close to your parents. It's <laughs> it's so true because I'm going to start my period like tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> and I it's totally like that. understand that feeling <laughs> so much right now. That's probably why I cried about Multiverse of Madness. Oh my God. But it is like that when I it's like, it you're like, you're in that kind of moment, like a period beforehand, it's just sort of like my my tolerance for shit is down here now. Yeah, and anything's gonna push me yeah. over the edge. This is me being reasonable, and I was like, Oh, oh, man. <laughs> oh, okay. oh that shot me good. <laughs> I was like, mm. it's Just the monkey, <laughs> even the monkey, just like. <laughs> I I did really love because I liked how because. I was so excited for the Illuminati, and I was also really mad that they talked about it in a trailer I hated before it. it came out. I hated it. Because that was my big thing. I was like, this is the Illuminati. Here's what's going to happen. Here's who's yeah. going to show up. And I was right. And then they had to go and spoil it for everybody by putting in the trailer. The Illuminati will see you now. And I was like, are you freaking kidding me? I, I was I, so uh, upset. Yeah. I, w- I will tell you something worse. My spoiler, like the was, thing that got oh, spoiled yeah. for me was John Krasinski being oh, Reed Richards. And I was like, thanks. That, that, is, that is a shame. I, That's so dumb. I honestly had a really good moment in the cinema for that. Because I um the guy that oh, was yeah. sitting next to me literally went... <laughs> I, like, I probably would have done the same to be fair like a literal fan cast coming true because yeah. I, mean, I kind of did the same thing like holy shit it's actually true <laughs> right so it's like it's always like the rumor he's gonna be there and i'm like i won't believe any of that until i see it and then it comes yeah. up and i'm like ah! yeah <laughs> yeah here. he's here holy and then he got unraveled like real. string cheese he became spaghetti yeah that line there as well. I, I, I'm just gonna say, Wanda has the best lines in this movie. Oh like, literal chills every single time. Like, oh, good. There's do, gonna do, be someone do you left have to race them? Yeah, exactly. I was exactly. like, I was like mm. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Man, that got me. I was like, oh, she's about to kill him. Yeah. She's about to kill everybody. I, I will say that I absolutely loved how she killed Agent Carter. I was like, I. I Poor so baby. this is funny. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I got my I got my pop funko of her. Very and oh, I was like, go. does that mean I have to cut Can her I in half? Her? Yes. Yes. <laughs> Do it. <laughs> Do it now. Put some blood on the shield. Do I'm pretty now. sure I could make that happen. <laughs> yes, you can. Oh, <laughs> Please, I want I want pictures. I think, <laughs> I think I might actually do that. I think that if if Sam Raimi had like fully had his way, we would have oh. seen a fully bisected like on camera. Oh my god, yes! Peggy, oh, play, I think I, I think that exists. It. I was a bit disappointed that we didn't get that. I I think that exists. It I'm not gonna gotten, lie. It would have gotten its R rating right yep. then and there. Yep. But I think and it exists in in the in the deleted scenes that we didn't get. That to would see. have been awesome. I was impressed with how she killed Black Bolt and that they got the that actor from the TV show. Was insane. Like I, I was, was like, like <laughs> what mouth? And I was like, and then he speaks, like yells, kills yeah. himself. I was like, oh, <laughs> yeah. It was brutal. I was like, everyone in the cinema was like. Jesus Christ. It really was like a police like holy fuck. And then you go and kill <laughs> Professor X. Oh my but that that was the best skill. See, I'm sorry. Was, but to... also that was the <gasps> one that, that um I got that got spoiled for me. No, uh, I, I knew, that's true. Um because I sent I sent uh, the thing to Lily. I knew that people heard him in the trailer, but like yeah. I, I didn't Immediate think it, it recognition. Hadn't been, like confirmed <laughs> that he was actually playing Xavier. So I was like, okay, I'll hold off on like thinking about like what That's this actually could be. Like I know that people were saying that was Patrick Stewart, but I didn't pick up on it immediately. Variety on Friday actually posted an article with yeah. Patrick Stewart saying um, uh, it was like Patrick Stewart on returning to be to Charles Xavier in Doctor Strange Two, no. and it was like it wasn't even like it was. There was no sense of like, that was literally no. the day it, the movie like, came out. I was like, yeah. it, what? What the fuck is this? Come on. <laughs> 
It's spoiling stuff <laughs> again. So I fun. I have to like turn off all social media like at least two days before the movie mm-hmm. comes out. Like if it's the premiere night, I'm like, all right, no social media. Because I just got, turn it off. I will. I will say. I think I got. Um, and this was my own fault because I went into the Doctor Strange. You no, know, like the like, I went into one of the Marvel based tags on Tumblr because it was trending. No. Um. Uh. I think it might, it might have been in the Moon Knight t- tag, to, or, or so, maybe maybe it was just a generic Marvel one. I'm not sure, but I saw something to do with Wanda and her being dead, and I was like, eh, okay. Yeah. I fi- but like that wasn't entirely surprising to me, kind of knowing sort of what I was going in for I was like all right that's yeah but also that's on me I did that to myself that was, that was my disappointment about the whole movie I'm not gonna lie like that scene uh where she scares the kids immediate tears like I, oh I was gosh. like I mean I, I knew there was like I was like sitting there going there's no they should have done that sooner gonna... yeah, I, yeah. I, I was a bit annoyed that nobody tried to like help her like nobody really tried to talk to her properly. Yeah. It felt yeah. like Strange basically went, "Oh, so okay, you're committed to this path. All right, time to fight." Then I'm like, "Okay." Yeah. It feels like there's be a step between them. And he, he said the stupidest thing: "Your kids aren't real." It's like, well, they are. <laughs> like, oh my gosh. Yeah. I was like, I was like, you're a terrible person. Yeah. <laughs> like they, yeah. they are real. They are. They are real real in this universe but they're also real in every other universe yeah it was it, it was just you know i i think because uh the first thing uh when i read the early reviews was like you know they are mistreating one die and whatnot and first i was like sure <laughs> right you guys yeah, are like- just mystery wanda how is that possible how is that possible like you know and then i watched the movie and i was like why are you doing this with, with this woman? Like, just yeah. fucking leave her alone. Like, seriously. And like it's... the the Wanda we all know and love wouldn't kill another kid to get no. her kids. No, she wouldn't do that. No, and uh, that's the dark hole, though. Mean. That's yeah. the dark hole. Yeah, I. But I did. I did. I did. I'm glad that they kind of like pointed towards it in the movie like they had the scene between her and Wong where he's like why mm-hmm. don't you just get her to open up a portal and then just sort of go yeah. in and then exactly. Kang is like oh because I want to make sure if anything happens to them I can just take them somewhere where they can be okay and I was like alright that's fair I like that as a justification yeah especially like she, she's like there are diseases everywhere and every universe is going to have a cure and I was like boy I bet that strikes the heart of every single parent yeah. Yeah. who has yeah. a sick kid mm-hmm. Yeah, like yeah. oh, but I, I I don't think well, obviously Wanda is always like you know, she lost vision, she lost her kids, she lost everything her basically lost her, her brother, brother everything <laughs> in uh, the dumbest way possible. Yes, uh, <laughs> let's not talk about that. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> but you know she she basically lost everything and uh, but I don't think I don't think they mistreated her character. No, I I think this very much fitted her story mm-hmm. like uh, it just, it just, even if it's heartbreaking mm, it is i do but, feel like there's a sense of like they may be going as touch too far kind of torturing her a little bit where it's like yes i feel like we need to be getting close like maybe or not we don't even need to see it yet but like cresting towards a place where she could be like just, maybe find yeah. some happiness yes yeah 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 i i, I think her. that's where why um uh, white vision is going to be very important mm. and maybe that's why they hold off from bringing him in mm. to this one i'm just i'm just curious if we're actually ever gonna see him again or if it was just kind of like a i oh, i think we will gone. It's kind of interesting that her her sole focus is on her kids at no point does she think oh i could go to another universe to find vision like i don't think she yeah. knows because i don't think i can't remember exactly how the end of bond vision it's been about a year now but she doesn't she doesn't know about like no 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 she, she doesn't, doesn't know. know about that so Mm-mm. it's like that i feel like i don't know if, it, if yeah because she never saw white vision no so, she's so solely focused on getting her kids I, it, I found it very interesting that she doesn't once mention her trying to get like vision or, back or in the other multiverses like i was expecting paul bettany to come around the corner saying hey wanda is everything okay yeah. you know like something like that. Yeah, because it does beg the question: who, who's, who's father to Wanda's kids in the other universe? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, I, 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 I have a theory on that, but it's, it's, yes. it's very sad. 
I I think she doesn't want to find him because she's afraid of losing him again and again and again. Mm. And I was like, you know, I hate that. (laughs) She's lost him twice already. Yeah. Three times. Oh, that's true. Three times. Turned time back. Yep. Three times. (laughs) It's just. It's. Poor Rhonda. I've and and I was I was really pissed off uh when she destroyed the dark hole then. But Just, okay, here's you know. the thing. That red flash, I'm like I'm certain that that's her. She leaving. teleported like, herself. She fully out. Teleported, teleported herself I really out. hope yeah. so. Like, I really, I was really like, that's there's no body. There. There's no body. We don't see her dead. And yeah. There was a big red flash. She's not she's fine. <laughs> well she's I not was, fine, I, but she's fine. Well, yeah. <laughs> I was crying my eyes out. That was the point. Well, I started crying when um, she scared the kids. And then yeah. from the moment, I was like. <laughs> I saw somebody be like, I kind of be like, oh, I kind of wish that she like the other Wanda had like fought her. But I'm like, no, because that's no. what she needed in that moment. No. She needed, yeah. like, it, it was, I think it was very she important. Empathy. The fact that, yeah, the only bit of tenderness that she kind of got from anybody in that movie was from herself. Like, yeah. that's huge. And did you, did you read the explanation for them? No. Huh. It's because the other Wanda saw her dreams, uh, saw her in her dreams, and she knew exactly what she was going through in the other universe where she lost everyone. <laughs> so that's why she was able to forgive her so easily. And when I read that, I was like, fuck you guys. Oh, well, that's <laughs> too much to be dealing with right now. <laughs> oh, that other Wanda didn't deserve to know all of that. Like, no. Like, that's a lot of trauma. That's a lot. Yeah. But she she knew, and and I fully believe that that's the explanation why she forgave her so I can quickly. Totally see that, I though. just figured that she just got it anyway. I feel like it, like an, even yeah. if she didn't have the context, I figured just because she was her, there was a sense of like, you know, kinship of mm-hmm. being like, I you're clearly in pain, and mm-hmm. like there's something here. Um, don't worry, your kids will they will they will be loved. And I was like, mm-hmm. okay. <laughs> yeah, right. I'm not it's fine. <laughs> oh. uh, Dad. I'm curious what you guys thought of the music fight sequence. I kind of loved that. <laughs> it was so good. <laughs> it was okay, because I'm one of the rare people that was like, this is way too cheesy for me. Yeah. Like, the, at first it was really cool, and then it kept going, and I was like... I think it was fun. I- Especially that they choose that music i was like yeah it was strange to go with that i know yeah i just thought it was put together quite well yeah maybe i you might i I may agree with you in the sense that it it did go on it was cheesy than i I expected it to but like i didn't i kind of i did kind of wish it would have i don't know I don't know. It just it maybe yeah. <laughs> maybe been a bit I needed shorter, more. Or like maybe exploded a bit more. Yeah. 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 The it was, it, it's kind of small. Yeah. Yeah. It was cheesy, but you know, I think it was fun. I I, I yeah. It's, it's a good scene. I liked it. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, I don't know. I don't know what's going on with Marvel. I want to talk about this. But lately, the CGI is like, why? Like at the end of Eternals in the post credit scene when. Um, What's his name? Black Harry Knight. Styles and uh, oh. and um, oh Marvel. yeah, um, that little that uh, um, gnome. Yeah, That's that was the worst horrible. CGI I've seen so far. That's hor- that was horrible. I was like, okay, but, yeah, that's weird. Uh, and now yeah. I have I have a very specific problem with the third eye. It doesn't look good. It's it it doesn't look good. It it looks so fake. I was like, <laughs> it really does look like somebody just composited. <laughs> His yeah, onto his I yeah. actually didn't notice any issues with the CGI. I, that, that's the only thing that, that it, I was, was like. Kind of the only like it, it kind of look. It just looks very bizarre. It just it looks too much like it's it's one of his eyes put on yeah. his forehead. Yeah, and it it's very clearly a time thing. I don't think they had a budget constraint for the CGI. I think it was all about time. Maybe where they could allocate. Yeah, which, yeah. Like they wanted to put all of their money towards like. Wanda and the Illuminati and I think that huge sequence mm-hmm, that mm-hmm. they were like we're gonna have to like this is a minor thing we're just gonna have to cut that thing and put the budget elsewhere it just, it yeah feels, I mean this is this it is felt the a bit of off. Marvel in, in general the, um, the working practices are questionable in many places because it's like mm-hmm. half the costuming is, is done with CGI because 
costumers and, and, and production designers and all that sort of stuff are in a union. So it's like, well, we can cut mm-hmm. corners here by not having to pay union rates. But <laughs> That's true. I mean, that, I always that... liked when uh, when they do like behind the scenes about like the costumes and stuff. Every mm-hmm. single costume is actually a vest with just sleeves. Yeah. So like you'll notice like on every single costume, there is something along like their shoulder and armpit that's going to be the vest because if it's full armor they can't move yeah. but if it's a vest with something underneath they have full yeah, range and, of motion and, and that's that's fair but it's like I thought that it's, was cool. it's like i think even i think specifically like the eternals ones like 90 yeah. half the time they were just like full motion capture full suit. yeah and it was like yeah. what you just just pay people properly you <laughs> have the money you're for real you're literally disney yeah you are yeah. literally Disney, Disney. Um, yeah, yeah, it's uh, weird. Uh, uh, what, yeah. Is there anything uh, else you wanted to? Yes. Okay. I want. I want to cheer a little bit. Okay, let's do that. Because I was. I was very happy to see uh, Lashana Lynch coming back as fun. Captain Marvel. I was like, yes. Oh, <laughs> that was so nice to see. Like, oh. what if just like IRL? And yeah. I was just like, oh, I love it. She like, deserved it. Like I loved her so much in in the Captain oh. Marvel movie. I was so happy to see her. I was like, oh, Maria, you're back, and you're the Captain Marvel. I yeah. want all of these things. We got the Captain Marvel. We got uh, the zombie. And uh, that, yeah, was, that, like, was that was the most evil dead of the entire thing. Like, the moment that he was, was like, oh, yeah. "I'm be alive," I was like, "My God, Sam Raimi just can't help himself, can he?" It's so true. <laughs> Sam Raimi like, for in the win. a delightful way. Like, you yes. know what? Fair enough. Go on. <laughs> I really loved it, though. I did. Like, 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 solid. Like, seven out of ten. Like, not the best Marvel movie, and not the worst. Yeah, and I really did like it. I really did. I did and like it as well. I'm. I'm. I'm holding out hope that everything will start being cohesive again because that's my big problem. Yeah. See, uh, this, okay. One of my friends made a post about this. Like, he doesn't know where the MCU yeah. is headed with, with phase four. Uh, yeah. and, and I kind of disagree. I think they are laying out a very clear plan of, of where they are going. Like, uh, you know, it might not all be yeah. as connected, but let's be fair. When uh, they did phase one, phase two, phase three, when did it all start to connect? Like, you know, it was just little things, little things here and there. Yeah, but and where are the little things? We have the little things. They're not big enough. They're not, <laughs> but that's why they called little things. I know. <laughs> I think I have a theory. I think there's two things that are possible here. I think one is Jonathan Majors. Yeah. Uh, I was I hoping think- we would see him. Yeah. Yes, Especially I was hoping Moon for Knight. him as well. And uh, Moonlight, and um, and you know, uh, I think he's gonna have a very important role. Like, I I yes. think that speech at the end of Loki from him, like he just mm-hmm. carried that episode so yeah, well. I mean, um, but it's, that's the thing we haven't had any kind of reference to that since, though. The only but- reference we've had is Moon Knight, yes, and it very very subtle. It was initially just. Uh, so originally in like, kind of like the Egyptian side of Moon Knight, he was a, an Egyptian emperor. Yes. And so there's kind of like, uh, his face outline is imprinted on the kid's jacket who uh, mm-hmm. gets pushed off the cliff or oh, yeah. Yeah. cuts himself off into the cliff. Yeah. Um, and then there was, um, we thought what turned out to be Alexander the Great, we thought that was going to be Kang and that he was the Avatar, which I'm really sad they didn't go in that direction. That would have been perfect. Yeah, um, that's but true. But so far, that's what we've gotten. And his next official appearance, because he could be showing up anywhere else, is in Ant-Man and Quantumania. Mm. Yep. It yeah, would have been true. great if he had showed up at some point or had some sort of nod in Multiverse Madness. Or that they had yeah, different I, Moon Knight. I think my thing is like I understand why Moon Knight doesn't have any kind of like real intense because yeah. like mm-hmm, I mean, mm-hmm. part of the reason Oscar Isaac signed up in the first place was that it was like really quite separate from everything else and it's like you know mm-hmm. what fair enough I I'm, I'm kind of glad of that as well yeah like I wasn't I would I went into that not expecting it to really be attached to anything um but like it feels like 
the concept of the multiverse in Doctor Strange is actively at odds with the, with the con- concept of the multiverse in um mm-hmm. uh um in Loki because it's like it I feel like the con- like the fact that the TVA exists actually actively like combats Rooney. the concept of what's going on in, in in everything that's going on in um multiverse of madness unless it like I guess takes place oh, I don't know but it doesn't it yeah. doesn't feel like it works properly like it feels like there's yeah. uh, there's a logic issue here yeah each depending on which show you watch the concept of multiverse and timelines feel different mm. even even with endgame the writers and the producers all had different ideas on how the time travel worked especially with captain america they all had different ideas of how it should work and that's where the problem started mm-hmm. is when you have people not agreeing with how it works and it appears to be just kind of how it's appearing here mm. is like what's the difference between timelines and multiverses you know what does everything actually mean and how does it work because that's a rough thing mm. to try and yeah. get to work yeah uh but that's uh, i say that the <laughs> other possible thing that we are heading towards and i really hope that's true and and it's gonna happen is secret wars which is one of the best Marvel ones. What's secret that? like Secret Invasion? No, Secret Wars. Secret which one's Secret Wars? Because I've been I'm doing a lot of research shit. on Secret Invasion. <laughs> secret Invasion is coming, we know that. I'm you know? really excited for that. <laughs> Me too. Um, Amelia Clark is gonna be in it, and I love Amelia Clark, so I can't wait for I her love to join. So much. <laughs> I love Amelia. Uh, Katie I literally have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> So, um, so like in Captain Marvel, the Kree, like those green creatures yeah. and kind of like the end of WandaVision where the girl was recruiting, what's her face to Monica. be, uh, to come back. Uh-huh. She was also a Kree. Yeah. So what it is, is secret invasion is that a bunch of people that we will not suspect are actually mm-hmm. Krees and have been taken over. Um, mm-hmm. so like in the comics, Hawkeye was actually a Cree like for years and years and nobody knew. So it's all of these Cree coming in and secretly invading governments, facilities, the Avengers mm-hmm. to kind of integrate themselves in and take over. Mm. Yep. Some of them it's- are good and some of them are genuinely evil. Yep. So Secret not... Invasion is going to be like, hey, by the way, this person's been a Cree for the past six or seven movies, you know? Mm-hmm. That, yeah, okay. That does feel a little close to the concept of, like, lizard people, which I believe is quite an anti-Semitic, <laughs> um, like, you do, you do see what I mean here. Oh, right, oh my gosh. And I'm like, that's, that feels off. <laughs> <laughs> I never even thought about that. But uh, okay, I'll, I'll just uh, <laughs> I'll I'll, uh, I'll, uh, I'll twiddle my thumbs and see how this comes about. <laughs> yeah, okay. it's one of my favorite um, comic book lines, aside from like, uh, like stuff that happened in Endgame, because I thought it was just cool to be like, hey, by the way, all of these people. So like, um, surprise, like yeah, and Nobody Fury in the. In like Spider Man No Way Home, he's using a Korea as a double, stuff like that that mm. like shocked people. And they're like, and yeah, so I'd love to learn where Fury's at right now and yeah. more about that facility. I have to imagine that that'll probably come about in, you know, what it's is it, the Marvels? The, 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 the Miss, Miss Marvels or something like yeah. that? Yeah. That, yeah, that. that's going to be interesting. Yeah. yeah. Uh, well, yeah. Yeah, I think know. the next thing to come out is probably. Kamala Khan's yes, so that's, uh, show. that's on the eighth of June. I'm not a yes. fan of like teenager school shenanigans. Like that's just not my thing. Mm-hmm. So I'm hesitant about it just because that's not my theme that I like. Yeah, but no. of course I'm gonna watch it anyways. Obviously, <laughs> obviously, duh, it's Marvel. I'm gonna watch everything they produce, no matter how I feel. <laughs> I'm in same uh, yes. uh, space at the moment where. Maybe it's because we're in that space where we don't really know exactly what mm-hmm. the cohesive end is, or like yeah. what we're working towards, or like yeah, in the in the long run. I'm really taking everything as it comes, 
Because mm-hmm. like, I kind of don't care about the extended future. Just like maybe maybe the next thing I'll, I'll be like, okay, I am very excited about Thor. Yes. Oh my gosh. Yes. <laughs> Please. Please. It's... Uh, when mm. the tickets come out for that, I got to... Uh, I gotta go quickly buy those. Can I... Not yet, not it's, yet. It's gonna be a bit because it's July. Yeah, comes it's out, July, so, so we have it, to wait. Give it about a month wait. or something. Yeah, yeah, we have to wait like a full month. Yeah, <laughs> that I'm very excited for. Very me excited. Thor's hot and sexy summer. <laughs> give Taika Waititi all of the Marvel movies. Just That's not a bad time. idea. That's Just not a bad idea. I, yeah. I wouldn't be against yeah. it. He's the only one who I feel like has done. I mean, Loki did Loki pretty well. The Russell brothers are great. The Russo brothers didn't do Loki well, though. No. What well, did they? I don't. Did they? Do I mean, Loki? they barely did Loki. That's the thing. They killed I, him. They they killed him. Oh, but I will okay. I will yeah, say, true. James Gunn. I do Always like and forever. Gunn. He was amazing. Guardians. But I think I I do need to take your mm. approach though and kind of take things more one at a time because I think my personal expectations are way too high, especially after Endgame mm. and how everything was just... Perfect. I think we are all at that point. <laughs> when it yeah, came to Endgame, and for me, I finished Endgame and went, I'm kind of good with this being done now. And I was like, I knew that me other too. things were coming out, but I was like, I'm just, I'm just going to let whatever, like, if you like, can kind of chill out on, like, bombarding me with shit now. <laughs> yeah, like, if it ended there, I would not have been mad. No. But it's a powerhouse of money. Yeah, it would have been bad. It's, 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 it's a money making movie. Yeah. So I'm going to take that approach and just kind of slow myself down, take things one at a time, and make my expectations at a normal level. Mm. Yeah. The thing is that, uh, you know, I, same as Erica, I'm a huge Marvel fan. I, I never thought that I will be into something like this again, especially that I am literally into so many things that it's <laughs> yes yeah, uh so it's it's you know i i love star wars uh alien planet of the apes uh jurassic is a big thing for me avatar oh, yeah. which is like coming so oh, it's so close and and i didn't get to see the trailer in front of doctor strange we were the only country who didn't get the trailer i didn't get trailer, uh, for I avatar too I didn't we, get were, we were in i i thought i've just figured that was because we we're a um independent picture house and it, they were yeah. like wait which trailer was it uh, oh, yeah. oh yeah i did get that oh my god you're so lucky i had to watch it, it on my on my smaller so skin beautiful i know i know i am i i literally cried when i watched it finally i was like oh. <laughs> coming home yes please uh but uh, uh you know i i think the main thing that do- uh, that marvel does really well is uh is keeping you excited for these things at least that's what i'm feeling like i yeah. you know Whatever is it's Marvel, I'm like yes, give it I'm to in. me, please. Yeah, yeah. Give it to yeah. Me. I'm, Just take my money. I'm in a bit of a space at the moment, and I think it. I don't think it's necessary. I mean, it's 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 partly Marvel's fault just because they are one of the big behemoths. I'm just a bit bored with the fact that cinema at the moment is all franchising. I, like I'm just sort of done with it. I'm really I'm I'm craving more. That's a good point. Um, just like smaller, interesting new. Um, stuff like stories and like I'm yeah. really really excited to see everything everywhere all at once oh um, same but I won't uh, see it because I've heard nothing but amazing things about it my um, brother-in-law saw it loved it yeah I, yeah. I like I haven't I've, so far I have literally seen nobody who didn't like it so I'm mm-hmm. I'm, I'm really looking and apart and, and that that's the kind of thing I'm really looking forward to it's like uh, in just in cinema in general like I, I want more stuff like that where it's just so it it's like you, you know very unique voices um telling stories from very specific backgrounds that are yeah. cl- you know just done so spectacularly well and all this sort of stuff um i keep getting a trailer every time i go into the cinema off a bullet train that just looks yeah. like stupid fucking fun i'm really yeah, excited right? for it yeah. at first i was like this looks ridiculous and then we got the full like legit trailer and i was like okay it's now just, i'm feeling different looks, like stupid it looks i'm like i'm so it looks it looks like a great time it's like i just more stuff like that i don't necessarily need everything at the moment to just like be the sequel of a sequel of a sequel where yeah. it's kind of like because i mean that is the the complaint when it comes to cinema in general at the moment anyway isn't it that yeah. everybody's just sort of like there's no real original ideas being like trumpeted and and, um, mm. and all that yep. sort of you know studios don't feel the need to push forward original content so much as they're going for stuff that they know is going to make money and it's like yeah. ah, just it's yeah. it, I'm 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 a bit tired as much as I like watching Marvel stuff and I will continue to go see Marvel stuff I'm like I want 
a more of a variety a palette cleanser. of things. Yeah, a palette cleanser. It was just like just generally, I want variety. I, I don't want to be just looking forward to the next like mm. sequel to a thing. Um, like I, I, I mean, I've never been, but that it is the other thing is I've never actually been like a particularly cinema like focused person. I'm my my passions have always been in television. Like it has it been Love since I, I, yeah, it's like always since I was a kid. Um, been in television, so it's like I like. Good lord. That was me, sorry. <laughs> I was like, just like, stop message me. Um, <laughs> me yeah, I just think so. It's the stuff I get very excited about is like the new season of something that I, or like it's just some new show. Um, actually, for I, I had kind of the opposite thing when it came to television like last year, in that it felt like I was getting like the beginnings of shows so much that I was like, I really want the second, like, I want to get back into something that I haven't seen in like a year, which is why I was so excited for the second season of The Witcher to drop. Because uh, it was like, oh, this is yeah, the first good. time in ages that I was like, I had something that was like more of something I'd seen, but like extended. And it's mm. like, so it's like completely the opposite thing in television. It's like part of the reason I'm so goddamn excited for more of the Umbrella Academy. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, that cannot come out soon enough. I'm so, I, I, I need to see <gasps> my children. <laughs> They're my kids. I need more five. Oh, you um, see, um, um, I love all of my children equally, but Klaus. <laughs> Because. Oh my gosh! Starting a cult, my my sweet boy, my sweet what a, boy. What a good boy! I just I just love them all. I, they're all my kids. I just want them all to be okay. Uh, I still have to watch it. And, <laughs> so, I, this is like really the should. the one it's thing so I've kind of like paid and got Lily on it. I was like anything else, I really don't care. You have to get on the Umbrella Academy. I will. <laughs> I will. Uh, but, uh, you know, I'm very excited for Stranger Things. I'm going to say that. That's I love true. the pro- posters yes. that they are dropping the, now. The, the they are beautiful. Are when is uh, they are supposed to uh, end of this month, May 27th, That's the it. same day as Kenobi. Yep. And the same weekend, you're not in the country. <laughs> <laughs> well, then we've got uh, Kenobi coming out. Yeah, I know. I'm. I'm look, Again, if anyone spoils can it be for me because I won't be able to see it for like an extra four days after you it comes be out. So careful on the internet. Oh my gosh. On the internet, I'm gonna be a comic con. So I'm afraid that people will come in and they're gonna you, see my you, Kenobi you, drawing. You're gonna, gonna, you're gonna like, have to put it you're gonna put a sign up and be like, I have not seen Kenobi. Don't tell me anything. Up. I mean, that's not a bad idea. I might do that. I will write it on my forehead. It's big enough. So I just point at the, the sign and be like, don't say anything. Kenobi. <laughs> Shut, Shut up. up. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> you will not be served. <laughs> tell me nope. anything about <laughs> you will be denied. I am kind of. I'm. I'm not gonna lie. I am now holding out hope for uh, MCM to do the right thing and invite. I know that they're not gonna invite even McGregor, and he's he's not gonna do uh, conventions. But I want to see Hayden Christians, so. and I I want to see Hayden Christians. And... I could definitely see him doing those. Yeah, I think he's done a couple, hasn't he? He it he, he did. He did. Yeah, yeah, he did MCM Birmingham last year. So I'm I'm, I'm you know. Bring him to London, please. I want to meet him. I haven't seen a whole lot from the list of like people. They haven't announced that many guests. No, yeah, I feel like. But no. they always, they, they always do it. this. Yeah, leave it to the almost to the end, which yeah. is you know it sucks for the actors as well because there were people who were announced last minute and there were barely anyone at their queues because people didn't even know that oh he's gonna be here oh, okay or she's gonna be here oh shit but you know it's like announce them a bit earlier please so we can prepare <laughs> maybe it's because they can't actually show up any kind of um like a schedule until the last minute with some of them because some of them are so big yeah well uh, oh well Anyway, there are many exciting stuff are happening. There are uh, many exciting things. I feel like we didn't talk about the post credit scene. Oh yes, we didn't. Because I didn't. sat there yeah. and went, I don't know what this means. It's I clear. know. It's she clear. Is a love I, interest of Doctor Strange and I did the use of Dormammu. What I did yep. um, uh, when I got home, I was like, what the fuck is this mean? And that, <laughs> because of Clear, that's why I think that we are heading towards uh, Secret Wars. And, you know, if you want to know more sense. about Secret Wars, read about it. But it's, it was, I've, like, I've had it up. I've, yep. I did find <laughs> the end of the movie and then into that post credit scene to be particularly jarring because it's like you do this kind of like, it, I liked the end of the movie. I liked the way it was like, we've got a nice resolution. He's changed the watch face. He's put it away. He's and put then, away Christine. And then bam, I. And then suddenly you get to the post credit scene and he's just sort of fine again. And it's like, 
it's like something's missing from between when he got the eye and yeah. now he seems more comfortable with it. And it's like, it's been five seconds to us. I just like, yeah. The, um, he's wearing a different outfit, so clearly it's a different yeah. guy. <laughs> well, the yeah. other uh, theory is that it's not the Doctor Strange we know. That's what I learned. That maybe it's, it's a different Doctor Strange because I, you know. Yeah, I the I was talking to uh, our lovely friend Zenith, um Yeah. To, uh, today about it, and I was a bit, I was kind of annoyed about the way that it kind of got put in as well because they were like, "Oh, look, it's the third eye consequences," and I'm like. Okay, but what does that mean? <laughs> like, why? Yeah. What is? What does this? What does this mean? Just yet, at the moment, all I can see is that he has a third eye. I don't know what this means in terms of like, is he bad now? I don't like. It, all all you've told me is that he now has a third eye, and the only other person I've seen it on is this other Doctor Strange, and he yeah. just seems mad in general. Um, True. So it's kind of like I don't. Okay, so there is a consequence, but I don't know what this consequence is. So I don't really know what to feel about it. So I kind of that's, went, all right. Interesting. Yeah. I don't know what this is. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. Uh, I will say that that was this one. First of all, I'm really happy that Charlie Theron is joining. Oh yeah, the that MCU. was good. I was like, like full like Beyonce, like, full, yeah. like <laughs> Charlie Theron. <laughs> Charlie I was Theron. like, oh, okay, hi. Yes. Hello. Uh, She's wearing I, a bad wig. Did I? Uh, shut up in the wigs. <laughs> It is Why bad, are though. so many of them bad? I don't know. The budgets. <laughs> it's because they but, were all used on the budget was all used on Chris Evans yeah. and his wigs, because those were flawless, and I had no idea those were all wigs. wigs. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Every single time you see Steve Rogers yeah. and his hair, it's a wig. That's wig. Shut None of it up. is his real yeah. hair. No. Nope. None of okay, it. Okay. No, that is insane. That is. That's why there I say all the, the budget. Wig budget. There you go. <laughs> what? the best one that's Chris yeah uh, it blew but my mind it's Why? so good um he but cohesiveness anyway. yeah cohesiveness for his hair that's so but the gosh. one thing I, I missed uh, uh that we saw in the trailers is the mad doctor strange going things just got out of hand a little bit and that was, wasn't in the movie that wasn't like, yeah. but it was like referenced very heavily like elsewhere um yeah which I thought was, I was like, okay, interesting. Did he even say the no. bill comes due at all either? Because I don't remember hearing that at all. I don't think he said that. Somebody said the bill comes due. Somebody? It was I, in the trailer, but I don't remember it being in the movie. I, I, to be fair, I might be list, mixing it up with the fact that I had seen the first Doctor Strange because people definitely said it in the first one. So yeah. I honestly Maybe don't it know. was a reference back to the first one and nobody actually said it. Yeah, maybe. I um, I, That's I, quite possible. I, I don't remember. <laughs> I don't remember oh, yeah. at this point. But yeah, <laughs> it was funny because uh, so <laughs> in our last couple of minutes before we wrap this up, I uh, had just had dinner just before I went to see the movie. Like literally, we were at the table and I was like, oh, I gotta go. Uh, got to the cinema, uh, like sat down and was like, you know, I probably should go to the bathroom. You know what? It's probably fine. I I peed before I left. I spent two hours <laughs> desperately needing a piss. Me too. <laughs> and I was like, I didn't drink anything at the cinema. This was just purely <laughs> residual from me having dinner. And I was like, Sometimes. this was a mistake. <laughs> <laughs> yep. I and can't I was like, leave. I'm not gonna get up and move. Even during I was, the credits, I was, on, I was like, I'm staying here. I was on the end of the row, like, next to a wall, so I couldn't leave without disturbing the entire row. And I was like, <sighs> I can I can hold out. I, I can hold out. I'll be fine. <laughs> Just like, yeah, I, do. I mean, I, the only, the last thing I will say about uh, the movie is that it ran by so quickly. Like, I was like, yeah, it, it's true. It but did, at the it, end, it, it, did. Did do, it did do pretty well. I was only conscious at the time because I needed to pee that badly. <laughs> Yeah, that's fair. That's it. I, I, I wasn't yep. at all. Like, I was so surprised that, that I was like, you know, oh, third eye, boom, credits. And I was like, what? <laughs> like, it, like, well, where's the full resolution? But Where's Wanda? Yeah, where's my hey, queen? Wanda, where's my queen? Uh, but yeah, queen. anyway, uh, let's wrap this up. Uh Erica, thank you for joining us. Thanks for thinking of me. <laughs> of course. Now we have a few ideas for the article, I guess. Like, I still don't right. know how we're going to write it, but we're going to figure it out. <laughs> It'll Google probably have to be like a, at short, the same time. a short version, and then we both just give little blurbs, maybe. I don't know. That we're going to figure it out. We're, gonna, we're, we're smart people, okay? You can take head, and I will follow your direction. <laughs> hey, that's a... <laughs> 
a lot of <laughs> pressure on me, but uh, sure. <laughs> uh, and yeah, let, uh, tell us where people can find you and follow you and your work. Yeah, um, you can find me all over the place. It's Anduin, A U N D A W Y N. Under her name. On the screen, Erica Anduin. Um, so that's me everywhere. I'm the GM, a game master at the Let Us In TTRPG podcast. We're going to start, uh, we have a meeting for season three coming up in June. And then I'm a writer for Couch Soup as well as a gamer on Deadpan Gaming. Very fun. Yeah. I do lots of things. Yes, you are. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but I, I will put all your social media handles in the description. You can find uh, Erica, whatever you like. Do you believe Whatever you prefer. Yes. And uh don't forget to subscribe <laughs> and yeah. hit that like button <laughs> and leave a comment what you like. think about the <laughs> and uh, yeah listen to us on Anchor or Spotify or Apple or and rate Share us with and... your friends all of the above <laughs> yeah just do all of them uh, and we will be back uh, next week and we love you all goodbye that's beat everybody Bye. <laughs>